Good y'all. Black people. Figure I'd do a part two to the post I put up earlier. I, I weighed in earlier on um Mr. Uh, George Floyd, the young brother that uh, lost his life earlier today. In Minneapolis, we seen the clip, we seen we seen the video, but it's it's something deeper. It's it's something deeper than that. Like the point, the point needs to be driven home that during this global pandemic, black men or black people, period. We under attack. You know what I'm saying? We need we need to be very very transparent and clear what's going on in in, in America right now, especially across across the world. <clears throat> While we supposed to be socially distancing and uh, quarantining and staying inside, we are still subjected to police brutality, police violence, and and unfortunately another. Another young king lost his life at the hands of a, a corrupt cop, a person that had no uh, regard for the person he was uh, trying to subdue. <clears throat> and from what I hear and saw, homie was in cuffs. He was on the ground in handcuffs. Meanwhile, this cop had a had a knee on his in this man's neck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I heard the officers involved, they got fired. Nah, you don't need to be fired. You need to be prosecuted. You know what I'm saying? You need to be prosecuted. Like ASAP. Like, and and I hate the fact that. During a global pandemic, this shit is only happening to us. You know what I mean? It it ain't happening to nobody else. It's only happening to us. You know? It's disturbing. It's very disturbing. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like I said, condolences to the family of uh, Mr. George Floyd. Our prayers is with you. Send our prayers our blessings and our condolences. This shit is crazy. Like we we shouldn't have to be overly stressed, being that we in a stressful situation to begin with. That we had nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? Like it's bad enough. We got people that lost their jobs. People lost their homes. Some people don't even know where their next meal is coming from. And we got a deal. And I say we, I mean people that look like me, brown folks. We still got to deal with police brutality. <clears throat> Along with the pandemic. So, it's like it's not even safe to go outside if you're a black person. So, it's very clear that there's two Americas out here. You know what I'm saying? We need to start calling this shit out. It's two Americas. You know? And until people start seeing us black and brown people as people, 
They don't see the color of your skin. They don't get intimidated and want to call on police, call the police on you and shit because you in a neighborhood and you're not familiar with it. Maybe you got lost or something or whatever. But people feel obligated to call the police on you. And now we got to deal with some irate police officers ready to pull their guns out and shoot shoot you down because you in the wrong neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Only us. Only, only us black and brown people are being subjected to this type of disregard for humanity. You know what I'm saying? No, no other ethnic group is being subjected to this type of stress during a global pandemic. Like, we in a global pandemic. We got enough stress as is. And we're more, we're now, we got to put somebody in the ground prematurely that has nothing to do with COVID. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit crazy. This shit bugged out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never seen no shit. Like, this, this shit, hey, I only been on the earth for 42 years. I ain't never seen no shit like this. This shit crazy. This shit bugged out. It's very, it's very disheartening. It's very, it's very disturbing that we are living in a time. It ain't 1960, 1955, 1930. It's 2020. And black people are still at the bastard end of racism and bigotry and uh, being prejudiced against at the hands of police brutality. And the, the numbers don't lie. Like, you know, and we not us black people, we not in the clear neither. Like, come on, black people, we gotta wake up. It's it's time. It's time to wake up, and it's the perfect time than ever. While everybody is social uh, social distancing and quarantining and stuff like that, everything shut down. The city shut down. Nothing's moving. It's a time to self reflect, man. Like. Like Prodigy said, man, it's a, it's a war going on outside. It's a war going on. And we, we the targets. And they take they taking this out one by, by the numbers. They taking this out one by one. Like, uh, how do you explain this shit to his family? During a global pandemic, your husband was taken out and killed by an officer. And you can't say he was resisting arrest. How? He was on the ground with handcuffs on. So how was he resisting arrest? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. <clears throat> I really, I really don't don't understand the, the temperature. That's going on in, in America right now. I, I don't understand the temperature. Like. We we all got to go sometime. But. We got we got evil people out here man. That's just speeding up the process. And taking. And, and taking people's lives. And not being held accountable for it. So. That police department in Minneapolis. Yeah y'all fired them dudes. No they need to be. Prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and be put in jail because they took another human being's life unjustly and brutally at that. No man deserved, nobody deserved to go out like that. You know what I'm saying? That man wasn't doing nothing. You know? He wasn't doing nothing. 
like I'll be wanting to ask a ask a question and it may it may sound silly, but it's like hey yo America leave us the fuck alone and can y'all just let us be? You know what I mean? Can y'all just let us be? Just let us breathe. We we trying to we trying to get the same shit y'all trying to get. Roof over your head, money in the bank, house, car, nice shit, raise your family, raise your kids to the best of your abilities for the short time we, we on this earth. Why can't y'all just let us be? Why can't y'all let us be? You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't, I can't call it, man. It's just shit. Shit is very, very, very disturbing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate to, to, you know, speak on the these types of situations, but it's like I'm not gonna be quiet neither. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be quiet and, and sit sit back and just watch all of this shit. And and that's another thing too. Black people, we we gotta wake up, man. It's time to stop recording. Like, God forbid you see some shit like that going down in the street. And police is just brutalizing somebody. And they like, hey, what you doing? Yo, I'm not doing nothing. Da, 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 da. This, that, and the third. And they being overly aggressive with somebody. And it's two, three, four, five cops on one dude. And if he ain't resisting arrest, like... Come on, bro. What y'all doing? Like this, this, this shit, this shit is is sickening, man. It's sitting and and I can, I can only speak for myself and a, and a few others. You know what I'm saying? Salute to all all my veterans. But um, I never I never seen no shit like this before, man. It is it, it's crazy. Like we we have a large amount of people in this world as long removed as we think we are from the slavery era, the Jim Crow era, all that. We got a large amount of people in this world that still look at it, look at black and brown people like we not human beings. Like we not worthy to breathe the same air as them. And like they above us, and 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 unfortunately, some of these people are in high positions of power. You know what I'm saying? And and I think that's something that everybody needs to take. They need to take it in. And in order for you to be racist, you gotta have some type of financial power to inhibit others from advancing in life. So you could be black and not like black people, not like Spanish people. You you could you could just be prejudiced. But to be racist, yeah. Racism as a whole is an institution. It's a system that has been in place for a long time and everybody thinks this shit magically disappeared. It ain't disappeared nowhere. We see this shit every day now and and, and even more so while we're in the middle of a global pandemic, we are still dealing with this nonsense. Bullshit. Like, I can't call it, man. This shit, this shit crazy. So, like I said, man, black people, man, we, we got to wake up. We got we to gotta wake up. You know what I'm saying? Especially right now. While we social distancing, while the city shut down, like black people, we gotta wake up. Specifically, New York City, like, wake up, black people. You know what I mean? It now, now is the time to wake up. You know what I'm saying? All that shit that we've been seeing in movies and all that shit, and it seemed entertaining and all that, and seemed far fetched. That shit look like reality right now. So, 
we we need to we need to tighten up. So you don't want them to declare martial law and then you'll be scared to come out of your own house. Now the military is patrolling the streets. The the cops are coming in forces now, and now nah, we don't, we ain't trying to see that. We ain't on that type of time. So, but like I said, man, con condolences to the family of George Floyd. And uh, like I said, man, I'm I'm mentally exhausted, man. Like we we as a people, man. You figure like we've been through enough. We have, we have been through enough. And we are the only group, ethnic group, that is still constantly being traumatized in 2020. Emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically, we are still being traumatized and abused. All because of the tone of our skin. No other ethnic group is receiving the same type of treatment that we're being exposed to during a global pandemic. So I implore all the, the governors, all the senators, all the mayors, statewide, as, as a United States veteran, y'all got to tighten up. Y'all got to tighten up. Y'all better start screening these police officers. Y'all better put in some type of uh, better training programs for these officers that are patrolling these neighborhoods. And especially if they're from the suburbs or they didn't grow up in a diverse neighborhood, but you sticking them in the middle of the hood. And they don't they never grew up interacting with different ethnic groups other than their own. These these officers are ill equipped for the job that they signed up for. So all you mayors, governors, senators, congressmen, I implore y'all to start rattling the cage. And start shaking down these institutions, these these uh, police stations statewide. Start shaking shit down, cause you got a lot of people that's employed in these uh law law enforcement employ employers, and they're not equipped to do their job successfully, especially when it comes to policing black and brown neighborhoods. They're not, they're not qualified. So, on that note, black people, we need to wake up. The proof is in the pudding. We keep seeing it. We keep seeing it. So, y'all better wake up, man. This is, this is the, the best time to do it. Unfortunately, we got to wake up. Like, this shit ain't a game no more. We we are under attack. Nobody wants to say it. I'm going to say it. Fuck it. Black African Americans in this nation right now, in this global pandemic, we are under attack. No other ethnic group is experiencing what we are experiencing during a global pandemic. Our brothers and sisters are still being subjected to police brutality, mistreatment, and, tr and being treated like we're not human beings. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. So, like I said, black people, we need to wake up. You know what I mean? We need to wake up. Seriously. We need to nip this shit in the butt. So, y'all y'all need to wake up, man. And for those officers that, that was involved, 
Y'all, y'all gotta wear this, man. Y'all need to be in jail. Y'all got, y'all got to wear this. You know what I mean? He took that man's life. He wasn't doing nothing wrong. He wasn't doing nothing wrong. And this is, it's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Like he ain't here to defend himself. Now their their family is mourning, and now they gotta put that man in the ground. During a, a, a global pandemic, while we socially distancing, we still being taken out, snuffed out. Crazy. Shit, this shit is crazy. I can't. I, w- I wish I could it better articulate myself other than I'm, I'm disgusted, man. It's, it's, I'm disgusted. I'm disturbed. I'm mentally exhausted. You know what I'm saying? I work in a hospital. I see what this pandemic is is doing to the black and brown community firsthand. And I'm I'm mentally exhausted. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm mentally exhausted. And for everybody that know me, Hey, hey uh, you can hear the sincerity in my voice, man. Like, listen, man, this shit ain't a game. And it's sad to say that that only my community, only my peoples, is is going through this. Like, no, no, the Asians ain't dealing with this. You know, Indian people ain't dealing with this. White people ain't dealing with this. They ain't no white people getting choked out. Ain't no Asian people getting choked out and beat up and and slapped around and told not not to social distance. You know what I mean? Like we 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 are the only group of people that are being over traumatized during a traumatizing situation. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, Melissa? I see you. Yeah, you already know. Love you too, man. Like this shit, this shit crazy, man. This shit crazy. This is it's a lot, man. You listen. All I know is, whenever this social distancing and quarantining and shit's supposed to end, fuck a vacation, man. I need a mental break, like for a whole week. I don't want to do nothing. I want to sit in the house. I want to eat. I want to chill. Hopefully, it'll be nice. I want to enjoy the AC and just sit up and just not deal with the world for a week. Seven whole days. I don't want to. De- I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to watch the news. I don't want to know about nothing for seven days. I need a mental break. A mental break from the world. Cause this is this is it's it's a lot, man. Like you wondering why these nurses and all that stuff they they breaking down. You know what I mean at the job and all this other shit. Like it's a lot that everybody's going through personally, professionally, and then on a personal level, us as black men, black people, men and women, we we. We're being subjected to police brutality. Like it's like the shit don't stop. Like it don't it don't stop. Like sheesh, can we just exist and be at peace during this global pandemic? Like we we dealing with enough. Like what the hell, man? But that's all I got to say, man. I'm a um I'm going to probably talk about it a little bit more tomorrow with my folks or whatever, but this this shit was heavy on my mind all day today, man. This this shit don't, it don't sit right with me, man. It it, it definitely don't, it don't sit right. So, while we still here, man, and we dealing with this global pandemic, man, my black people, let's wake up. Let's love, let's love our, our loved ones, our family, the babies, the kids, your uncles, your aunts, your moms, your pops, 
grandparents if y'all got them. Let's love on each other, man, while we still got time. That's all I gotta say, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy DJ Shane, man. Build the shakers. I'm out of here. Peace.